There are many online tools that can test the load time of your web pages. This video will show you one of these tools and how to put it to use. This tool is called Google PageSpeed Insights. Google PageSpeed comes in two parts. One part, the one this video will cover, is to analyze your web page speed and report to you the results along with suggestions on how to optimize those results. The other part, the PageSpeed service, is a service that will actually automate the optimization process of your web pages to meet the Google's web performance best practices. Google PageSpeed Analysis is a free tool that you can use either online or add it as a plugin or add-on to your Firefox or Chrome browsers. And I'll demonstrate that for you here in just a second. The online tool is actually the best because any updates that Google does to PageSpeed is first done to the online tool and then later the browser plugins are updated. So for the latest and greatest you might consider just sticking to the online tool. Now the overall goal of optimizing your web pages no matter what tools you're going to use is to minimize the file size and to minimize the number of times that it takes your site to make a request to your site server or get as it's also called. What I mean by that is every URL on your site will require a request to your server for the contents of that URL to display. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's head on over to one of my demonstration sites here and check out the page source or the code that makes up this site. I'm going to right click then left click on view page source. This gives us all the guts of the page there and you see each one of these URLs here. In order to make that page load to make it look the way that it does, every time that somebody opens up that URL, each one of these guys are sent off to the server where they're hosted at and are requesting, hey, bring this information back here to this guy's browser so we can make this web page work properly. So ideally, you would have, and it's impossible, but you would have one URL on the page source and all this other stuff would be in one line that being a very small file and one get or one request. Now that's never going to happen because that would just be a dorky looking web page. But that's what you're shooting for to have the minimum number of requests and the smallest file size you can get overall. That includes images, videos, text and everything. Let's go ahead and close this out here. Now every time that your site makes a request to your server, it's also using bandwidth, which in some hosting packages you are given a certain amount per month before additional charges begin. Even the unlimited bandwidth hosts have what's called fair use policies, which are usually not part of the advertising by the way. So yeah, I know, it's hard to believe that a company would actually say one thing but mean something else. Okay, end of the commentary. When you have reached what is deemed as the limits of that fair use policy, your site can then be throttled back to a standstill or in some cases even be shut down. But my point here is that by reducing the number of requests to your server, you are also minimizing the bandwidth your site is using. So this goal is going to do a few things for you. Number one, it's going to speed up your web pages in your visitor's browser and that's going to make them happy and much more closer to being a lead or a customer of yours. Number two, since Google uses the speed that your web pages load as part of their ranking process of its search results, you stand a far better chance of landing on page one of those search results, which will in turn bring you more free traffic and more of those potentially paying customers. And number three, reduce your overall bandwidth usage which can save you money. Okay, now that we've touched on the what and the why of using Google's PageSpeed Insights tool, let's get to the how. Now right now I'm on my Chrome browser and if we head on over to developers.google.com slash speed, that's going to bring us to the PageSpeed page and on this page is quite a few items related to the PageSpeed service. The one we're going to be dealing with here or diving more into is the PageSpeed Insights. One thing I want to point out, if you scroll down close to the bottom here, this link here will take you to the Performance Best Practices, which is basically a set of rules that Google uses to determine the optimum page speed of a particular website or web page. And that's what these guys are testing here under the PageSpeed Insights. Let's go ahead and click on this guy here. Oh, and by the way, while I'm here on this page, over here on the left, if you click on Community, and then click on Page Speed Insights here under the group name, this takes you to kind of like a form or a Google group of page insights. So any questions that you have that you just can't find the answer to by maybe using the Google search tool, head on over here, sign in if you haven't already, and either do a search here for your answer or 
Go ahead and post your question in here, and in no time at all, you're going to get results. So this is definitely a page you might want to be bookmarking. Okay, so that's that. Come on back here. Come on back here, and click on Analyze with PageSpeed Insights. And right here is the online tool I was referring to, and I'll show you the add-on or the plug-in section here in just a second. But let's go ahead and test my site. I copy the URL, paste it right in here, click on Analyze. And it's going to do a couple of things for us here. And this is not done with the plugin. So again, another reason behind using the online tool versus the plugin or the add-on or extension, whatever you want to call it. But it gives you a test for both a mobile version of your site or how your site looks on a mobile device, as well as how it will test or look on a desktop. And of course, the higher the number, the better your site is ranking. And you want to get the highest number possible, that being 100. But over here under the suggestion summary, you've got three colors, red, yellow, and green. The red is the items that you really want to pay attention to and try to fix as soon as possible. The yellow, eh, it's okay. If you've got time and it's not that big of a deal, go ahead and put some effort into fixing it. And then the greens, hey, you got those perfect. Don't worry about those. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you got the little color code that explains pretty much what I just told you. But under each one of these items is a link to learn more about that particular item. It gives you a little description here. Your page has two blocking script resources and three blocking CSS resources. What the heck does that mean? Click on Learn More. And each one of these links here will take you to a page that will explain more in detail about that particular element and how you can better optimize that element, which overall will better optimize your entire page. And you can see they're going to be a little bit different for the mobile versus the desktop. So that's the online tool. Let's go ahead and head over to my Firefox browser and check out the plugin version of this. And on the same page, that's the developers.google.com slash speed. The link over here called Analyze with Chrome and Firefox. Just click on that link. And you've got the two options here. And as it says right here, the online version is pretty much a better bet. But if you want, you can install the Firefox extension. Or if you're on the Chrome browser, you can do that as well here. Let's go ahead and install the Firefox extension. And what this does actually is it installs an extension to the Firebug web development tool. So technically you have to have the Firebug web development tool already installed, which I do. And let's go ahead and restart now. And you can get to the Firebug slash PageSpeed extension a couple of ways. Mine is right up here in the top right corner. I can just click on that and it opens it up to the PageSpeed tab of the Firebug tool. All this here is part of the Firebug tool. Or... Let me go ahead and close this out here. Go to the page that you want to test. And anywhere on the page, just right click. Okay, you can't see. Let's go up here and right click. Left click on Inspect Element with Firebug. And then right up here, you've got the various tabs. This is the Firebug toolbar. Just click on Page Speed. And here we are. And here you've got some resources. You've got the help. You can analyze either the entire page or certain elements of the page, and you've got some additional information down here. Let's go ahead and click on Analyze Performance, just to kind of give you a comparison between this one and the online tool. As you can see, there's nothing on here, currently anyway, about the mobile device. This is all just desktop versions. But like the online tool, each one of these are links that you can click on for additional information related to that particular item. And, in most cases, recommendations on what you can do to better optimize that item. And that's a rundown on the PageSpeed Insights tool and a little bit of an overview of other elements of the PageSpeed service. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.